at the crossroads of history, forged by centuries of conflict, is a place once believed to be the center of the world. Hey guys, welcome to my Soap Ever Review series. I'm Julie and today I'm covering the 2013 film Jerusalem for IMAX made by National Geographic. And joining me is Rascal Entertainment. Hey there. Now, this particular film is a documentary about the ancient city of Jerusalem. It was produced by Cosmic Picture and Arcane Pictures and distributed by National Geographic Cinema Ventures and IMAX and Giant Screen Theaters. But before we get started on the juicy details of why you need to watch this, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the kiss button to see upcoming reviews, hacks, videos, tips, and more. Absolutely. So I just wanted to do another quick recommendation mm -hmm. for you guys to check out. And again, this is an older movie, but it does not fail to impress and leave you breathless with the breathtaking cinematography and the topography that was filmed. It's narrated by Benedict Cumberbatch, yes, by... Sherlock and Doctor Strange himself and it had an eight million dollar production budget one of the great things about this film is that the, some of the profits from the distribution were donated and that was another good reason to buy I didn't know it when I purchased this years ago but that's great to know now right now it's only 45 minutes and the purpose of the film was to show the diversity of Jerusalem and promote understanding Jerusalem of the different cultures that exist there. Right. A lot of times you think only of the Jewish people, but it's varied and full and it's got just a wide range of different cultures and peoples mm -hmm. that are there. This particular film focuses on three teenage girls, a Jew, a Christian, and a Muslim, and the archaeologist Dr. Jody Magnus of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and it shows how the teenagers live in Jerusalem, where they go, and how the city is important to them. Right. So, right now, quickly, I want Rascal to read the actual back of the DVD itself so you can learn more why you should discover the heart was considered the heart of the world. Right. Okay, so on the back it says, Filmed for the first time in 3D for IMAX and giant screen theaters, Jerusalem is an awe-inspiring and intimate portrait from the Washington Post, quote, one of the world's most beloved cities. To discover why this tiny piece of land is sacred to Jews, Christians, and Muslims through the experiences of three young Jerusalemite women as they celebrate the city's vibrant holiday traditions. During world-renowned archaeologist Dr. Jody Magnus, as she explores underground tunnels and ancient ruins to solve some of the city's greatest mysteries. Find out why after thousands of years, Jerusalem and the Holy Land continue to stir the imagination of billions of people. Unprecedented access to the city's holiest sites, as well as rare and breathtaking aerial footage combined to make Jerusalem a mesmerizing vision. Absolutely. And if you've seen an IMAX film, whether on DVD, on demand, or in a theater, you know is absolutely gorgeous and this doesn't fail to live up right to that same translation those are excellent reasons that they listen to watch this DVD mm -hmm. I want to give another one that I think is really important right now in our world there are wars going on in different countries including in, in Jerusalem mm -hmm. including Ukraine and other places and I think amidst all of the reporting about the wars mm -hmm. and showing the ugliness of war and the destruction we don't remember how important these countries are to the human race. We don't understand or appreciate if we haven't lived there, or maybe immigrants from those countries, what it is they stand to lose. I think by watching Jerusalem and knowing all the conflicts that are going on there, you see three different girls with three different peoples that are there, and how they love this place and what it means to them in every facet of their lives not just as a religion mm -hmm. but is in, in living and growing and their slice of life story so right. to speak i think watching movies that 
show us the beauty of these countries and the people can help us to more better appreciate what it is they're standing to lose and that we become more empathetic to their plight and to their cause and to why it's important for them to withstand the evil that's attempting to destroy their lives and what they love. Right. And that is the main reason I want to recommend anyone watch the National Geographic Presents Jerusalem IMAX film. Right. And we have seen a few other IMAX films from them. Some of them showcase things in space, things in the ocean, things in the forest. And usually it has to do with nature. And every once in a while they do things like this where it talks about different sites of the world in different countries or cities that have become very huge landmarks and top places for people to visit where celebrations take place and June just has to be one of those places where a lot of celebrations and people come together and the vibrancy of the city are comes alive when these holidays or holy days take place for each uh, group of people and it shows how just for the short amount of time how a lot of people can come together despite differences Absolutely. and it's supposed to speak to all three groups and not just one now this is made again in 2013 some of the places may have changed now and at the time they were permitted to film the aerial shots of areas normally treated as no-fly zones mm -hmm. and it may be back to that now because of the conflicts that are going on mm -hmm. want to mention the names of the teenagers at the time who are now all grown women ten, uh, ten years later of course Farah Amuri Nadia Tadros and Revital Zachary and they are engaging and they are pleasant to listen to mm -hmm. and again they just share with you their love of why they live there and family and their heritage and so forth and again this will help anyone who already has an appreciation for these things as well as those who maybe don't and again, for those who maybe never thought about what it is people in these different countries are standing to lose, right. seeing the beauty in this film and the story shared and watching the film, uh, as the Washington Post said, is maybe as close as a person can get to being at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre and the al Mosque and the Western Wall, if I pronounce that correctly, mm -hmm. without actually going there. It's absolutely another reason to watch the beauty of this. Mm -hmm. Cumberbatch is excellent in narrating it. He's narrated other things mm -hmm. and he does a fantastic job here as well. And it's just a joy to watch. I know it's available to purchase on Amazon. Again, I got it back in 2013 when it first came out because it's so beautiful. I'm like, I gotta mm -hmm. see this. I gotta watch this. It may be available at your local library. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's on any streaming services. It's possibly on Disney Plus since it's a National Geographic film. Right. So you can type in the search and check there for yourself. Right. And I think it's definitely an experience you would enjoy, especially if you're someone who either has been wanting to go there and visit or has visited and sees that it's being properly respected on screen for others to see how this city really is and except for the ones who haven't visited I think this would definitely be a place to go to one of the sites in the world to visit yes after the conflicts hopefully we will have the opportunity to still be able to do that people all over the world right so if you've seen Jerusalem 2013 a documentary IMAX film let us know in the comments below did you find it beautiful and eye-catching have you ever visited Jerusalem or any of these holy places? Let us know in the comments as well. Right. And if you haven't already, be sure to like, subscribe, and notification bell updates on upcoming reviews, hacks, videos, and more. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us today and for allowing us to give you this recommendation. Thanks for joining me again, Rascal. Right. Really just wanted her to join in quickly so you can see that anyone of any age can appreciate this film. Right. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm Rascal. I'm Julie. Have a fantastic day. Continue to be happy, healthy, and whole. See you next time. Jerusalem.